Hello there. Uh, yes, I know what you're thinking. I'm still me. Um, I just haven't been shaving for the past two months. <laughs> it's been rough. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> I figured I should do one of these videos again since I haven't done it in a very long time. The last time I wanted to do one of these was May the 4th of 2020, which is 22 years ago. No, 22 days ago. 22 years will be ridiculous. Uh, I remember it because, you know, it was May the 4th, and some people who really like Star Wars would say, oh, it's Star Wars Day because May the 4th be with you, force equals to force, you know, like, it's wordplay, <clears throat> which I don't really care much for. Uh, anyways, uh, I just didn't do it because, you know, wasn't really in the right, right, right mood. Uh, anyway, let's, let's get started. Today is... May the 26th of 2020. Um, <clears throat> it is Tuesday, I believe. And um, it's been a very long time since I did one of those things. So uh, let's, let's you know, talk about stuff. <laughs> Actually, the main reason I wanted to do the video today is because I wanted to, sh to save an image of myself with, you know, this and this, and you know, it looks ridiculous, but it's also fun for the future references. You know, someday maybe I'll, I'll, I'll show this to my kids. So, hey, look, look at your old man who is, you know, in case I become one of those people who are like, you know, uh, no fun, no, you know, like really serious all the time. And, you know, like just one of those classic dad. I want to be able to show them that I was once a silly, stupid person who would uh, let his beard grow like this for two months. <clears throat> I mean, I had help because I can't really go out for the for the past two months. I think uh, I, uh, it, was, it was almost ex ex exactly two months from March the 23rd. It was the last time I was in the lab, I think, you know. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, yeah. <laughs> I officially have more beard than Ned. We had a, a group meeting, not not a group meeting, like a like a online meeting. Not really talk about science, but to talk about the so-called phase two of the going back to work at NYU. And I noticed that Ned has lost his beard because he has to wear the mask when he was in the hospital. He was uh, affected by the COVID-19. He survived, so thank God. Uh, so I'm, you know, I'm more, I have more beer than him. That's, that's you know, something. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep, keep this. You know, once you go back to work, obviously I'm going to cut my hair. The hair is ridiculously long. It's uncomfortable. Uh, I have to wash my head every day. Otherwise, it get itchy and, you know, just messy and everything. <coughs> Excuse me. That wasn't because I was affected by the... Uh, COVID. It's because I just had a yogurt, so it's kind of cold. Um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's it's been rough, you know, quarantined back in home for two months, all by yourself. All right. Um, let's talk a little bit about everything. First of all, my romantic relationship with the girl I was yeah, that went to hell, by the way. It just ended. Apparently, I was not good enough at chatting. Uh, I was no fun. It was boring talking to me. And, um, you know, I would just push too hard or whatever. You know, I understand. It was always a risk when you show your affection to someone at the beginning. You wanted to play games, you know. You, you wanted to keep your affection in, inside your heart. You don't want to show it to the other person so they don't freak out. I mean, <laughs> I'll probably do that in the future. But anyway, that wouldn't help. <clears throat> it didn't feel feel very well. I mean, I, I almost cried. Almost cried. Actually, I cried. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think time will heal. I've been through worse, you know, stuff than that. I, I, I'm sure I'll recover. <clears throat> it's just every time I recover... I feel like I don't recover 
to the point where I used to be. Like it would it would be like uh, this, and then oh, really, really feel really bad, and then recover, but not quite as high, but a little bit lower. And next time I fall down, by fall down I mean I you know kind of screwed up a, a relationship again. <clears throat> I fall down and then I recover, but not as quite as the last time, you know, every time it just, I feel, it's like, some things don't heal. I don't know, man. <clears throat> yeah, that, you know what, I probably don't feel like I could talk about it um, in detail yet. That's just, it doesn't really feel good. I will in the future. <laughs> probably won't, I don't know. Anyway, um, that's actually one of the reasons that, uh, okay, I feel like the topic today, the main topic today here is my beard, because I was, I was about to say that one of the reasons I decided not to shave is because it helps. It's a breakup beard. <clears throat> it wasn't really a breakup. We were never together. Um, it just, we had, a um, four or five dates and, you know, that, that's all. Um, anyways. It keep it keeps keeps me distracted. It's like I'm no longer I I don't know. Sometimes when you think something is gonna work, it's gonna work. It's just your mind dictate things. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to find things to say so I can keep recording and um, um <clears throat> keep showing more of my ridiculous face. Yeah pretty sure this is gonna be the only time I ever let myself go like this <laughs> you know think about it you, you can't show up like this at work um, you know I don't I, I don't know the future but I don't think it's easy to find another period of time where you can sit at home for uh, 60 70, 70 days you can do whatever you want you don't have to see people you know yeah it's a precious time it's depressing but precious. So let me tell you a little bit about my life for the past two months. Uh, starting with a typical day. Get up at 12 a.m. Wait, no, 12 p.m. That's, you know, in the middle of the day. I, I always get confused about the 12 o'clock a.m. p.m. thing. Like, in the middle of the day, whereas before, you know, after 11 a.m. and before 1 p.m., that 12. Should it be 12 p.m. or 12 a.m.? I think it's 12 p.m. because the midnight is 12 a.m., right? So I get up at 12 p.m. <clears throat> uh, by the way, that's not really the time I wake up. I actually wake up around, you know, six or, se six or seven or something. You know, I can't, I don't really sleep very well. I haven't been sleeping well for a very long time now. It's probably I don't exercise enough. Probably I just have too many issues. Probably I just don't go to the bed at the right time. They just, I, I feel tired, but I can't really sleep. It's like a half sleep thing, you know, just roll around in bed and, and feel uncomfortable and finally decided to get up around 12. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what I do in the morning. Get up at 12 p.m. and then <clears throat> go to the bathroom. And that was pretty regular. Take a dump, you know, and then uh, take a shower. And then, um, eat something depend depends on if I anything to eat usually I don't really eat that much at, at lunch these days um, if I had one of those you know like a pre-made muffin or a burger or something I bought from Costco I'll just put it in the microwave and eat that if I don't have it I'll just pour myself a glass of milk and then have some cookies and some fruits you know and some yogurt you know like one of those snacks and then make it until uh dinner yeah surprisingly this is one of the few good news i can tell you is that my weight is not going up it's steady around 68 69 kilograms which is not bad uh, you know like a lot of people when they're when they're confined at home they don't get a lot of exercise done and they eat a lot because there's not anything else to do so they gain weight for me well I don't know what to tell you, probably because, you know, depression from not being able to go out, depression from, 
romantic relationships did not work depression from you know everything else and not eating enough i'm not gaining weight mm, feels good <laughs> yeah i'm gonna okay where was where was that okay I, I eat something you know whether it is muffin from costco or um or some fruits and, and cookies and yogurt and then i would probably all day play world of warcraft classic yeah <clears throat> you know what I, when i when i when i was a little kid not a little kid like um like in middle school high school i always laughed at my uncle for playing the same game over and over and over a different version of it uh, ever since like i was old enough to remember that he was playing that game i was like come on man just playing something else uh you know experience the new games uh you know blah 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 but then i realized right now i realized that you only have so many you know spirit to explore once you're comfortable with something you just want to play it over and over and over i started to play world of warcraft almost in high school i believe it was the Catholicism expansion. It was already 4.3, which is the last expansion of the Catholicism expansion. Um, I enjoyed it while I was in high school. I enjoyed it when I was in college. Uh, I enjoyed it when I was in the first two years of my grad school and then stopped playing for a while because, you know, uh, things got busy. And now I pick it up. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure I, I, I'm not going to be like playing a new uh, online game in the future. If I ever going to play games when I'm getting older, probably gonna be this one. Yeah, I, I totally understand how my uncle, my uncle thinks back then. You just, you get comfortable with something, you, you, you give up on exploring new stuff. <clears throat> yeah, and then at dinner, I would cook something. Um, actually, that's one of the few, another one of the few advantages of being confined at home. You don't really spend as much money as, as you do when you're going out. Like, 300 a month <laughs> right you just go to costco and um buy a bunch of stuff and then bring them home and then eat them it's really cheap comparing to eating at restaurants every day um <clears throat> and then finish dinner play more world of warcraft and then go to bed around 2 3 a.m which is bad i know <laughs> usually i call my mom or my mom calls me uh every two days two three days you know just to ensure her that i'm okay which i'm not but she knows that right now she's more concerned with my physical uh health than my spiritual health because she knows that the spiritual you know the mental one is long gone <clears throat> by the way do you like my message i can actually do one of those things what you know in, in tv shows when people think they just do I'm gonna keep this. I don't know. Uh, okay, what else can I tell you about? Academic life, mm, non-existing. Up until yesterday when Ned was talking about we should have another meeting before. Oh, right, by the way, the phase two of the NYU going back to work phase is the 8th of June. So he wanted to have another meeting before that. So I should prepare something. You know, pretty much the things I did before I uh, went home went back home and stayed home in the lab. Yeah. Uh, yeah, academic life non-existing. <clears throat> Don't really remember what I did. I have to pick that up. So, um, oh, interesting thing is that, remember the girl I was dating like a couple times last year when I was back home and then we kind of uh, kept in touch for a few months and eventually blew up. Uh, she started to email me again like i don't know what to, i mean i <clears throat> it's hard to forget someone completely once you have genuinely liked her um so you know it's it's gonna the feeling's gonna go away but it's gonna it's gonna go back when she started to you know get in touch with you uh, i don't know what to do with that it's still i mean she stopped after i did not reply her emails twice um yeah anyway i don't know what, what to do with that let's table that for the future discussions if there's ever going to be any 
Mm. What else can I tell you? Um. <clears throat> Oh, I, did, I don't. I don't know if uh, I ever mentioned this, but Bernie Sanders dropped the presidential race. Well, that's not really important. I feel like when you're when you're at home, you don't really care about most things that I don't even care about. You know, the, for the, uh, for the first few weeks, I actually look at the numbers of the COVID nineteen in America. Now I don't even check them. Oh, what the fuck, man? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. So Bernie dropped. I was disappointed, but I understand. Um, it's going to be another another year of another election of uh, the Democratic establishment versus Donald Trump, which is going to lose. My projection is that Biden is going to lose, but whatever. <clears throat> yeah, it's really not much interesting thing you can talk about these days. Uh, I was thinking about when I'm eventually going to shave my beard, I'm going to do a half shave, which is like this. All right. This half or that half, one of the halves is going to be completely shaved. And the other one is going to be uh, not shaved. So I can creep people. I, I, I'm going to make a, my, my thought on that is um, I'm going to make a video or some pictures to kind of cosplay the two-faced man in the uh the batman movies you know the uh, the dark knight <clears throat> uh, for your reference if you hadn't watched that the two-faced man is a character which has half face burned down so you, you can see the skulls and then skeletons and everything which is not realistic but you know that's how the comic book uh decrypted him and the other fine the other half of the face is fine so <laughs> it's like a similar idea i don't know <clears throat> Uh, by the way, this is in the middle of the day. Um, if you look at outside, right? Yeah. Because I don't really I have nothing to do. Uh, <laughs> that's not true. I, I mean, I could read books and then keep organizing my presentations and start doing the write-ups on my paper. A project and uh i'm actually in the middle of listening to a um comedy show you know which is pretty good um surprisingly good but mm, i don't know i, I just feel like mm, you know when you're in a low point like this, you start to wonder what's the point of everything. Like I've been doing that, but more intensely uh, recently. I don't know, I, I just don't have answers to everything. I'm 25 years old, almost 26, and another half year. Um, I'm single. I'm unemployed, to be honest, like, essentially. <laughs> I mean, PhD students are unemployed at best. Um, I don't have anything I wanted when I'm, like, I wanted to have a stable job that's going to support me and my family when I'm, you know, before I'm 30. I want to have a family when I'm 30, not just, you know, get married, but have kids. Which leaves me four years to do that. I don't know how that's going to be realistic. But it's nice to still want things, right? I feel like when you hit the point where you don't want anything, you just live like a zombie, which is driven by your basic carnal needs, like eat and, and drink and then go to the bathroom, I guess, have sex. That's really sad. So I, I'm not at the lowest possible point yet. I still want things. I still want to be able to graduate next year. I still want to, you know, find a job after that. Oh, by the way, because of COVID-19, the uh, CFA level two exam was postponed to either uh, the February, uh, no, the, the December of this year or the June of next year. I haven't really signed up on either one yet. Probably the December one. I really want to go back to work. 
like I would risk on taking the subway every day and then you know it's very dangerous but <clears throat> I feel like a depression atmosphere at home is even worse oh god funny thing is uh, like I'm watching myself in the mirror every day when I'm you know brushing my teeth or um, getting dressed and everything so I don't really feel like this is much of a change it's a, a graduate thing but when I was in a video meeting yesterday it was a bunch of colleagues who were like oh what the hell is going on what, what's do uh, you know who killed she and then occupied his body <laughs> stuff like that uh, <clears throat> I don't know man I just um uh, <laughs> yeah so really not much to talk about Usually I ramble on for like 30 minutes or something, but now it's like only 20 and uh, I already ran out of things to say. Mainly because I haven't really been, I'm not ready to talk about, you know. Yeah, it's rough. It's not, I don't really, I feel like I've, I'm not one of those pickup artists. I'm not one of those people who cheats, who be unfaithful, who, you know, ignores the other person's feelings. I just want, I really like her, okay? <clears throat> Maybe that's my problem. I like people too soon and it makes them think that your intentions is not good because nobody likes someone else that fast. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I shouldn't have given her all those gifts. I mean, to think about it, even if we don't count the, the money I spent on dinner, it's like a thousand dollars in two months. Actually, two months. I don't know. <clears throat> I hate New York. I hate New York. I feel like you're either in New York, um, which means I accept the Western dating pattern, you know, kissing the first date. I don't even ask for that. But holding hands after two months, you feel like that's too aggressive. <sighs> or you, 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 you pre mind the, the, you know, the how it works in China. You agree with that. You, you know, if you're taking someone's gift, it means that you're agreed that the next. You're like going forward with the relationship, whatever you know, you can't. You heck, I feel like uh, okay, this is <clears throat> this is the unfair way of talking. I feel like a lot of girls these days are they want everything, especially the Chinese girls in New York. Uh, they want everything, they 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 um want to be able to um you know experience the Western way of dating, but at the same time, not any kind of responsibility, also. The material investment from the guys they want everything like when i was in the lab and i was talking about to give this girl gifts and the people in the lab were asking why are you giving her the gifts i was like oh because you know that's the tradition of how it works in china you see but that, it comes with that is the the, the the you know just they just uh, i'm sure when whoever it is who's watching this back if there's going to be any it's going to say what the fuck this guy talking about he can't even get his thought street uh yeah i can't i feel like talking about it to a phone to myself is not the solution here so i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop and yeah oh let's talk about something else so it's really fun um going out to buy stuff <laughs> i've been out for like two times uh when i was in costco and uh, about three four times when i was in the um the supermarket at the on the island um rose island so <clears throat> it's it's really fun you have a comfortable amount of human interactions uh, like the other day I was, I was, uh, so whenever I'm going to Costco, I'm, I'm, uh, also bringing the cart, which is really helpful. And while I was, uh, going across the street, someone else said, Hey, be careful with that. Well, I, I was like, thank you. And I felt really good. You know, human interactions. Uh, man, that was sad. Anyway, uh, the cart had to be fixed. Because that, the, the first time I was using that to shop at Costco, it was really hard to, to drag because the, the wheels are like flattened. Uh, 
So this time I realized that I used the gas pump uh, to, to pump gas into the wheels. It took me a while to figure out how to do it though. And there's so many different, you know, uh, interaction units or whatever. I have to figure out which one to use. And it turns out it was the basic one in the end. So uh, that was pretty fun. I get like leg pains for two days after that because you don't. Uh, I mean, I'm sure everything is going to be fine. I'm sure I'm going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. Um, if you can't even hope that, what else do you have, right? I'm sure I'll find someone who also likes me, who also appreciates the things I do, who will get married and have kids and start a family and then grow together, you know? Just, you, you have to be patient with that. You have to be, you can't let things get, get you down. It's not like something I, I felt like I probably took for granted. Um, I want to give you a very stupid analogy, which is the PvP and PvE system in World of Warcraft. I always took the dating and then, you know, relationship thing as a PvP thing, which means that everyone is in a ground level thing. There's no reason you shouldn't defeat someone else because you guys are both players, you know, you guys are the same starting point, and then it shouldn't be that hard. As long as you, you can beat that person, then you should be good. So dating shouldn't be that hard because the other party is also you, you know, it's also a people. So it's like, it shouldn't be that hard, but now I realize it is. It, it's probably a PVE thing. It, there are situations where both parties like each other probably, and, but they just have too many environmental issues they have to work, work together with, and eventually things don't work out. And Okay, I'm not trying to, I'm a terrible guy, okay? I'm a terrible person. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Okay, let's wrap this up. Um, really, really, really looking forward to going back to work on the 8th of June. Um, going to finish some writings and then hopefully, I don't think I want to live in New York after I graduate. The city rejects me. Okay, it's kind of presumptuous and egotistic to think that a city even cares to reject you, but that's what I feel. That's what I feel like. Yeah. All right. Um, good luck, everyone. Stay healthy. Don't be one of those numbers in the everyday growing list of coronavirus death people list. Is, you know, be safe. <sighs> That's it.